No, you're control. good. I, I think the Torah, the, the when I say Torah, I'm talking about the five books of Moses. I think the five books of Moses says an interesting thing for us. The children of Israel were delivered from Egypt, mm -hmm. but everybody didn't make it in the promised land. Mm -hmm. Right? So all of these people were on the traje trajectory for deliverance, trajectory for salvation, mm -hmm. meaning that the salvation was actualized. Mm -hmm. They actually got delivered from their oppressors. They were free. But they didn't receive the culmination of that freedom, right? This is why Paul refers to it as an endurance race, a marathon, yeah. something I keep going, I beat right. my body, right, I right, continue right, working. Right, right. Yep. So working at this thing. So that's what I think people really need to understand. You can receive these things, and, and you know, I, I believe people can receive the Holy Spirit and grieve it and have the Holy Spirit depart from them. This happened to men of old, right? We know Saul had the Spirit on him, so the Spirit departed from him, right? People receive lying spirit. I mean, there are things in the spirit supernatural realm that I think are real. So I believe a person can receive the Holy Spirit be, have that like born again experience but yet be dejected right this is why for me the blasphemy of the holy spirit isn't something we do one day i don't wake up in the morning and say something crazy and do the blasphemy of the holy spirit i don't commit that mm -hmm. it is the overarching testimony of someone's life mm -hmm. when god judges whether you've blasphemed the holy spirit or mm -hmm. not right because how does someone get saved how we use it clover the holy spirit draws Right. So, if is it just a one day thing, or is it over your life that the Holy Spirit is drawing you down? Right. Uh, all right. Justification is immediate, not salvation. Right. So, as the Holy Spirit is drawing you, and yeah, you can be justified, but if you begin to reject that work of the Spirit in your life, you can relinquish back into your old man and your own ways and reject Him and deny Him. And what does the Bible say? Your now condition is worse than what you were before. Hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. So it. To me, there's three things I want to point immediate, point out here not at least. Salvation, right? So as the Holy Spirit is drawing you, and yeah, you can be justified, but if you begin to reject that work of the Spirit in your life, you can relinquish back until you right, drawing on. you down, right? Mm -hmm. Justification. Right there it is. He talking about the Holy Spirit drawing you down. Well, what's he talking about? Uh, drawing you down to hell? Is that what the Holy Spirit does? Okay, so anyways, the first thing I want to point out is this right here on his left arm. Um, you know, <laughs> let's see what uh, Leviticus 19 says. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Okay. And then, of course, um, I'm assuming, I guess, maybe I shouldn't assume, but I'm assuming this guy is the Messianic rabbi. All right. So, number one nor print any marks upon you. Now, number two, um, number two, number two is, but be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. <clears throat> so clearly, uh, there's two strikes. And, <laughs> I don't know why you'd listen to this 22-year-old uh, snot-nosed kid anyways, but just in case, you know, I mean, there are a lot of new believers, a lot of young believers that are looking for guidance, and it's unfortunate that they would trust men, but this is a learning opportunity to not trust men. And then, of course, uh, you know, he's speaking against once saved, always saved, and there's just a ton we could go to but I just I'm just gonna point to uh, a couple of verses here that's gonna destroy the idea that you can lose your salvation okay um, let's go well, let's look both of these I guess for therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature old things are passed away behold all things are become new so now that we're a new creature, we are dead to our sins, being dead to the law, n no longer under the curse of the law. If we're no longer under the curse of the law, then we are free. Right? And if the Son of Man makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Alright, so we got nothing to worry about, right? We can put all of our hope and all of our trust and all of our patience in the Lord 
Jesus Christ. He has made us free and he gives us peace. Not as the world gives, but a true peace that the world can never give. John 14 verse 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Once saved, always saved, is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other gospel. And let me end on this. Let me end on this if you don't mind here. Jesus says unto Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Shall never die. Now, you have to call Jesus Christ a liar if you're going to say you can lose your salvation. All right? Because once you're born of God, you will never die unless Jesus is a liar. So, who's the liar? Is it Jesus? Or is it these deceivers? Right? Romans 3, verse 4, God forbid, yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Once saved, always saved. Eternal security, ever lasting life.